Welcome to the FDNY exam video segment. This video is designed to accompany the operations manual and question set found on our website and in the review guide. Please note, not all videos deal directly with firefighting because the actual test includes material not related to firefighting. Also, we kept the videos very simple to avoid distractions. They were not intended for your entertainment. Department Operations Procedure requires officers to make immediate, confidential, medical evaluation and follow-up available for firefighters who have had an exposure incident, such as a needle stick. An exposure incident is a specific eye, mouth, other mucous membrane, non-attacked skin, or parenteral contact with blood or other potentially infectious materials, OPIM as defined in the standard that results from the performance of a firefighter's duties. Exposure incidents should be reported immediately to the officer, since they can lead to infection with hepatitis B virus, HBV, hepatitis C virus, HCV, human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, or other bloodborne pathogens. When a firefighter reports an exposure right away, the report permits the department to arrange for immediate medical evaluation of the firefighter. Early reporting is crucial for beginning immediate intervention to address possible infection of the firefighter. It can also help the firefighter avoid spreading bloodborne infections to others. Furthermore, the department is required to perform a timely evaluation of the circumstances surrounding the exposure incident to find ways of preventing such a situation from occurring again. Reporting is also important because part of the follow-up includes identifying the source individual. Unless the department can establish that identification is infeasible or prohibited by state or local law and determining the sources HBV and HIV infectivity status. If the status of the source individual is not already known, the department is required to test the source's blood as soon as feasible provided the source individual consents. If the individual does not consent, the department must establish that legally required consent cannot be obtained. If a state or local law allows testing without the source individual's consent, the department must test the individual's blood if it is available. The results of these tests must be made available to the exposed firefighter and the firefighter must be informed of the laws and regulations about disclosing the source's identity and infection status. When a firefighter experiences an exposure incident, the department must make immediate confidential medical evaluation and follow-up available to the firefighter. This evaluation and follow-up must be made at no cost to the firefighter and at a reasonable time and place performed by and under supervision by a licensed physician or other licensed healthcare provider, and provided according to the recommendations of the U.S. Public Health Service, USPHS, current at the time the procedures take place. In addition, laboratory tests must be conducted by an accredited laboratory and also must be at no cost to the firefighter. A firefighter who participates in post-exposure evaluation and follow-up may consent to have his or her blood drawn for determination of a baseline infection status, but has the option to withhold consent for HIV testing at that time. In this instance, the department must ensure that the firefighter's blood sample is preserved for at least 90 days in case the firefighter changes his or her mind about HIV testing. Post-exposure prophylaxis for HIV, HBV, and HCV, when medically indicated, must be offered to the exposed firefighter according to the current recommendations of the U.S. Public Health Service. The post-exposure follow-up must include counseling the firefighter about the possible implications of the exposure and his or her infection status, including the results and interpretation of all tests and how to protect personal contacts. The follow-up must also include evaluation of reported illnesses that may be related to the exposure.